Ooh, it's dark. <laughs> I thought maybe by uh, opening a um, curtain, it would help a little bit. Now I got on my bright light. Super bright light. See my boxes in the background? That's for, um, you know, just cleaning up the area. I just kind of crammed them back behind the couch. Not very professional, but, you know, it is what it is. This is CB Smallwood with 100 Days of Making Comics. And I think this is day 29, unless I'm mistaken. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you where I'm at. Okay, um, here we are, day 29, I think, maybe, eh, it's, it's something, something like that, it's day 28 or day 29, I don't know, whatever, but anyway, uh, here's the double page spread, and this is, this is where I'm at, and, um, I've added many of the, um, bad guys. Now, of course, you know, I got to flesh out the details and that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the interesting note, you know, uh, all these bad guys, I used myself as reference. And uh, I actually stopped myself from drawing more on this uh, because I kind of wanted to show that because I thought it was kind of funny a little bit. These guys may look a little different or they may look the same. I don't know. By the time I get done, they're just four different versions of me. Um, other things that I did on the, uh, double splash, uh, you know, just a little bit drawing on the uh, wildcat there. Uh, also did a few more things on the background. Like I added a darker, uh, outline to the moon so you could tell that there's actual moon back there. Uh, you can see it when you're in person, but as far as like it, um, showing up well through the camera, um, so I darkened it. Uh, more tree limbs and things of interest. Let's zoom a little bit. Um, I've added some graves and let me see if I can move this lighting a little bit. There we go. Um, some graves, tombstones, that type of thing. Um, some trees in the background. Uh, it may be a bit much. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I got some birds. Some crows or ravens, what have you. Um, some more trees in the background, and uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm at on this uh, double page spread. Um, I've also done some work in this corner, uh, adding some trees, you know, the outlines and stuff, and going to start adding more stuff to it. Um, you know, penciled, you know, it probably, probably, blah, 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 blah. it probably would look cool if I blacken the, uh, the background, but I'm going to leave it open for the colorist to do their thing. And the, the color I kind of want is like a, um, a mix between light purple and dark, you know, a little happy medium in between. I think purple would look really cool for the background, but. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where I'm at with that. And, um, you know, I'm very pleased about it. This may be a short video, not because of camera problems, but because of, uh, low battery life, <laughs> you know? I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out of the way and let it do its thing, you know. Um, so, uh, my thoughts on the double splash page now compared to yesterday is it's, a, it's an entire like 180. I feel very um, optimistic about it. I'm, I'm happy with the direction that it's going. Um, 
you know, uh, what I was trying to say in the earlier video, anytime you try something new, something different, something that you've never really done before, it's always kind of an uncertain thing, so you're not really sure about what you're doing because it's uncharted uh, territory. But usually, well, sometimes when you when you go into uncharted territory, that's when you start to do really cool stuff. And so I think that's what's starting to come out of this. Uh, am I totally happy with it? No. I mean, when I get finished with it, I don't think so. But I'll be... I think I'll be content. I'll settle for content. Um, let's see, other things to note here. Well, I'm going to be uh, sketching soon uh, the next couple of pages, which I mentioned that in the last video. Looking forward to doing that. And as far as like finishing this double splash page, um, you know, I will finish it. I don't know if I'll finish it in the next couple of days or next week or two because I want to keep things uh, moving. I don't want to get too hung up on one thing for too long. So, uh, And also, I think you all get kind of bored watching me work on the same thing like forever. So there's that too. I don't know. Cool. I like how I did that. You know what's interesting about this guy? He looks like um, you ever seen the TV series Lost? If you have, if you've not seen it, I recommend you watch it. It's awesome. Um, this looks like uh, one of the main characters in Lost, which every character in Lost is a main character. Oh, what is that guy's name? Uh, if anybody watches has seen Lost, what does this guy look like? Because he, to me, he looks quite a bit like him, and that's by accident. Huh. <sighs> It's a happy accident, I guess. Uh, other news, other news, okay. What other news do I have to report? Well, mm, oh, well, this, this one's, um, I don't know if it's big news, but Sorry, I ain't paying attention where I got the camera, but uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to letter and maybe color my own comic. Uh, but I'm thinking about lettering my comic myself, and here's here's the reason why. Uh, it just costs money, you know. Like you you hire a colorist, right? And Seems like a lot of colorists uh, expect, on an average, about thirty dollars, give or take. You know, and it doesn't even matter to most colorists if they, you know, just started like last week or last year. You know, that's usually what everybody kind of asks for. And uh, I don't mean to sound like a turd about it, but and you do the math. You know, if you've got like a twenty-four page comic and and uh, it's like $30 a page, it runs into some, you know, serious money if you're just, if you're just a regular guy who who works for a living and you got bills and stuff to pay, you, you know. And of course, the guy who takes the time to color the comic, he's got his own bills and stuff to pay, but you, you see what I'm saying? It's one of these things, you know, where you want to pay somebody for their services, but at the same time, you don't want to go broke doing it. Um, so what to do, you know? It's hard to find a, a good colorist on, on a budget, you know? So, um, I 
one of the things that I'm considering is that you know I may try to color my own comic, but I don't know. That's just that's just me thinking about it. I really don't know. Uh, I'll probably end up using a colorist though. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, also, um, one thing that I am super, super seriously considering, like I mentioned a while ago, is lettering. Um, I may uh, end up lettering my own comic. And... I want to send out some appeals online to people to ask them uh, what kind of software and stuff that they use to do it with. Uh, I would like to find something that, that's simple and straightforward. And I don't have to press like four different buttons to make something happen. You know, I just like to like, click, put it on there and then type the text and go on and move on to the next thing. Um, if, that, if that exists, I'd like to know. There's always the possibility that I could try to hand letter, but uh, you know I'm not that, not that good yet. No, uh, maybe nowhere near that good. And and it's like you know I really like this comic book to see the light of day, and so you know that's something else to think about. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up this video here soon. Um, just want to give everybody kind of a progress of where I'm at, what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. I'm wanting to um, letter my my comic book at least. Thinking about coloring, but I do want to letter. And um, I like you know some input on some software I could use and stuff. So. <clears throat> Again, here's where I'm at. If this light will not blind everything. Let's see. Can you see it better? So, yeah. Um, thanks, everybody, for uh, following me, uh, liking, su subscribing, upvoting, and all that good stuff. I hope you can continue to do so. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.